Considering the original Mirage was one of the first frames to come from a quest back in 2014. Now, when in 2014, I cannot remember. It was either June or July. But I think it was update 14. She was actually a really good frame. Made better over time. The Prime version turning up was kind of huge. The blueprint, of course, is available from Neo M1 Relic. The chassis is available from Lith S7. The Neuroptics is a Meso H1 Relic. And the systems is the Neo V6 Relic. And to be fair, two night and extract, you should be doing those night and alerts. Even if you don't really want to, because having some just in case is always useful. Argon crystals you can probably pick up. It depends. You've got to go to the void for those, and sometimes, while actually doing the relics, you can actually end up with the crystals before you get the part anyway. After that, it's the things like the 2000 cryotic and the 5 neurodes that could be the problem part of actually having the resources to build these. Control modules, again, if you go to the void, you'll more than likely get those. 350 oxium and five Orokin cells. Not as many rare parts as other primes have had of late, but damn, she actually looks really nice, especially standing in the dark so you can see there was not just the eyes, all the lighting effects on her. The fact that the things on her helmet move, the dangly parts, and the bits on her, let's call it waist, they actually move as well. This is actually an impressive prime frame. Yes, I think like everybody else, I was hoping for Zephyr or Ivara to come first, but since it was 2014, it has been three years, she definitely was worthy of having a prime variant. Added with the fact that she has 150 armor over the normal 165, and an extra 30 shields, so she's got 110 over the normal ones, 80. Those, in themselves, made her way better. The armor, give or take, that's pretty meaningless. The extra shields, definitely what made her a way better version than the normal one. The fact that the normal Mirage comes with a D and a V, so this one has an extra dash and an extra D, has the same aura slot, and as you can see, this is normally locked, I've just unlocked it, actually makes her, again, this is why primes are actually really good. You've, they've got the little bit of added stats and extra polarities, depending on how you set her up, of course. But there are a lot of people who use Mirage who have a build already in mind when it comes to this. 2Ds? Yeah, that's health and shields in my eyes every day. But of course, everybody has different builds that they prefer to use on frames. Not everybody runs health and shields. Uh, just for levelling her up the first two or three times, because, let's be honest, she could do with another V and possibly another dash. Mainly for things like Prime Flow is a dash, Prime Continuity is a V, but you also have is it Transient Fortitude, which is also a V. Though, do you really want to sacrifice 27.5% of the ability duration? Yes, you're getting 55 from Prime Continuity, but... Um, I was thinking Hall of Malevolence. That's the Augment mod for Hall of Mirrors. It's Hall of Mirrors that I was thinking of. Is very heavy on duration. Losing that duration, not such a good thing. But running that Augment is because Hall of Mirrors is kind of her party piece. The other stuff has been improved just dramatically since she first came out, but Hall of Mirrors, definitely worth it. That and if you also want to run Total Eclipse, that augments her Eclipse ability. And what is it? While active, allies within five meters gain 100% benefit from Eclipse. So it works for you and players around you. Past that though, she works pretty much exactly the same. Hall of Mirrors is exactly the same as Hall of Mirrors has always been. It creates doppelganger mirages who can deal damage. Slide of hand, 
booby traps nearby objects and can now put those things on the floor. I think they were called radial lights or something. Eclipse, of course, is the one I mentioned for the augment. It is really useful because in the light you deal extra damage. In the shadows you are harder to find so you can actually stealth around. And I'm still not sure if the hiding in the shadows actually does give you increased armor or not. It's kind of a weird one to say, but if you actually read it, it's got strength and damage to it. There isn't anything that actually increases the armor, but it's another good reason to run her more towards duration than anything else. And Prisma still does pretty much the same. It shoots a big disco ball out that deals lots of damage to enemies. She has always been a pretty decent frame and She's been nerfed over the years, she's been buffed over the years, she's recently had some changes with her sleight of hand that did make her way better than she was before, because, let's be honest, sleight of hand was not really her best ability. Great if you're running a map on stealth and you can use it for laser doors, because then you can go through them, but enemies can't. Whereas now, it is just a little bit better than it was before. All in all... Yes, it's just another prime frame, but also at the same time, yeah, she's a really good prime frame because she comes with all of these extra polarities, more shields, more armor. Prime frames have always been the way to go. Use the normal one as long as you can, but as soon as the prime comes out, you obviously want to jump to the primes because they are way, way better. Because of the stat increase, the extra polarities, just in general they tend to be better. But the way that they work and the way that their abilities are is all pretty much the same. So you can just bring your build from Mirage over to Mirage Prime and have a better surviving, less former needed, better looking version of normal Mirage. Being the first of the quest frames has opened the door for things like Limbo and Octavia to become primed frames. But at the same time, I will never really... It was the same with Rhino. When Rhino came out, I was looking forward to Loki, and actually I've started using Rhino, Rhino Prime a lot more recently. It's the same with her. She's a really good frame, but she's just not Zephyr or Ivora. And... I really wanted one of those to come out before Mirage, but I'm still glad to see Mirage come out because she was a decent prime frame. Who knows, maybe Zephyr or Ivara could be next, obviously we'll find out in two or three months. But we'll leave this off yeah for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.